Little fifth graders. It's time to multiply some decimals. Make sure you have a sheet of paper out. This first one I'm going to do for you, and then you're going to do the next one. So pay attention. Six and twenty-one hundredths times seven. When I line it up, this is what it's going to look like. I did not line up the decimals. Now, if I were adding or subtracting, this seven would be underneath this six here. Well, if I were adding. But since I'm multiplying, I do not line up the decimals. I just put the smallest number of digits under the largest number of digits. So, there's only one digit on the bottom. Step number one, I just simply multiply. Okay? Let me move these papers out of the way. I just simply multiply, like we did last week. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. Bring down the 4, carry the 1. 7 times 6 is 42, plus 1 is 43. I don't have any more digits, so I'm finished with my multiply. Now, the next step. I count how many decimal places I have in each factor. There's my decimal. One, two. Two places. Here, no places. Two and zero. Now I add those two places up. Two plus zero is two. This number tells me how many decimal places will be in my answer. I start all the way to the right, and I move to the left two places. One, two. There is my answer. 43 and 47 hundredths. Easy. Your turn. 45 and one-tenth times five. Pause the video, multiply it, and put your decimal in your answer or in your product in the right location. Pause the video. All right, let's see how bad you did or good. When you line them up, this is what it should look like. Remember, you do not at all line up the decimals when you multiply decimals. Step number one, I just simply multiply. Five times one is five. Five times five is 25. Bring down the five, carry the two. Five times four is 20, plus two is 22. And there you have it. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> excuse me, now I gotta figure out where my decimal goes. I got one place behind the decimal here, so I put a one. I've got no decimal places here, so I put a zero. Then I add these up, one plus zero is one. That means I move my decimal place over to the left one time. I start right here, I move it over once to the left. My answer is... 225 and 5 tenths. Easy, easy, easy. All right, let's do a more difficult type of problem. I'm going to do this one for you, so you just watch. And then the next one you're going to do by yourself. 7 and 9 tenths times four and one tenths. When I line them up, I line them up like this. Now the decimals line up, but they don't line up because I made them line up. They just line up because that's how the numbers work. But just remember, you don't have to line up the decimals. In fact, you will not line up the decimals when you multiply. All right. So step number one, I've got to multiply these two digits. 1 times 9 is 9. 1 times 7 is 7. 
I'm not finished because I have a four here, but I got to bring down a zero. Four times nine is 36. Bring down the six, carry the three. And four times seven is 28. And plus three, don't forget to add the three, is 31. And now I have to add to all of this we learned last week. Nine plus zero is zero. Seven plus six is 13. Bring down the three, carry the one. One plus one is two. Nothing plus three is three. So there, I multiplied it. And if you multiplied correct, you got three, two, three, nine. Now I have to figure out where the decimals go. I come up here. I got one place behind the decimal here. I've got one place behind the decimal here. One plus one is two. That means I move my decimal place over one, two times. My answer is 32 and 39 hundredths. All right. Pause the video. And you do the same thing with this problem. 19 and 6 tenths times 3 and 4 tenths. Pause the video. All right, let's see how bad you did. I mean, good. All right, step number one, I have to multiply. Four times six is 24. Bring down the four, carry the two. Four times nine is 36, plus two is 38. Bring down the eight, carry the three. Four times one is four, plus three, is 7, bring down the 7. Let me mark these out. I don't want to get confused. Bring down the 0. 3 times 6 is 18. Bring down the 8, carry the 1. 3 times 9 is 27, plus 1 is 28. Bring down the 8, carry the 2. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. And now I must add, 4 plus 0 is 4. 8 plus 8 is 16. Bring down the 6, carry the 1. 1 plus 7 plus 8 is 16. Bring down the 6, carry the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. Alright, so I multiplied. You should have 6, 6, 6, 4. Now, my final step, I've got to put my decimal in the correct place. I've got to count my places. One place here. One place here. Then I add those up. One plus one is two. That means I move over two places to the left. One, two. My answer is 66 and 6400. There you have it, little fifth graders. That is how you multiply decimals. Now, you get on with your assignment in Google Classroom, and you multiply those decimals and get the right answer. Get out of my face! Get out of my face!